my wonderful royals and welcome to my YouTube channel Brit K-pop Reacts and today is my top 21 songs of the year in the world of K-pop. Um, it has been an interesting year, I think we can all agree. <laughs> um, it's not been a great one, but you know what, in the world of K-pop I think it has been a good one. I think there have been a lot, a lot of awesome, awesome K-pop songs out there um, this year and it has been one hell of a struggle to do this list but I have completed it and I am here with my top 21 now in terms of the way I have done this some of you may know if you see my previous video when I talked about this but basically these are of course all uh, girl group songs and female artists and um, the reason for that is because of course I haven't really delved into the boy groups yet particularly um, certainly not in terms of this year's releases so I wouldn't be able to realistically put together a list including boy groups. And the other important thing to mention is that there are no B-sides on this list either. It is purely title tracks and main releases. Now, before we begin properly, I do quickly want to mention that I am still taking entries for my subscriber top 20. So please keep sending those in. Um, if you weren't here for that video, I am doing a subscriber top 20 where basically you guys give me your top 20 list or top 10 lists. Um, in the comments below. I will put them all together in, in some sort of point system and create a list of yours basically of, of the subscribers that will be dropped probably around the sort of 4th or 5th of January that's the plan at the moment so there is still plenty of time well I say plenty of time some time <laughs> to get those lists in so if you've not already thank you to, to those who have already given their lists so please uh, keep popping your entries pop them in the comments to this video by all means if you have them um, Top 10 or top 20, no less than the top 10, ideally, um, just so it works out with the point system. But please do pop in your lists, of course, following my my rules that I stated earlier. Um, that will be awesome. As you may have noticed from the title, this is, of course, part one of the countdown. I am planning to drop part two tomorrow. So if you're watching this on the day it releases, um, part two will be out the following day, um, my top 10. Um, so watch out for that. And also, guys, I want to mention that for the clips I'm going to be using for the MVs, I've tried to to use my favourite part of the song. So the clip that plays for each song um, will most of the time be my favourite part of that song, just because I thought it'd be nice to to kind of give you a bit more insight into, you know, my favourite bits of those songs and why they really stuck with me. Um, so that is something else to watch out for. I do also want to stress that I love absolutely all these songs on this list. Obviously I've had to position them, that is the whole point. Um, it has been very difficult, but I do love all of these songs. I could, I could make a top 50, I could make a top 100 from this year and they would still all be songs that I love. Like I have had to leave out a lot of songs that I love off this list, which is, has been very painful. Um, and that is the reason it's top 21 partially. And the fact that I've got some honorable mentions I'm gonna do is because I couldn't bear to leave some songs off. Um, the songs that I just missed out. So I, it is painful. I have, I've had to leave entire groups off this list, <laughs> which you'll see soon. It's been incredibly painful, um, but I have been brutally honest with myself and I thought, which songs do I prefer? I've not been biased. I've not allowed myself to be biased in terms of groups and things like that. Um, obviously, I'm a multi-stand, so I love a bunch of different groups. I've not been biased. I've I've been as honest as I can with myself and said, no, these are my top 20 songs, top 21 songs of the year, period. It's, it's an opinion. You know, it is an opinion. It's my opinion. I'm fully aware that's the beautiful thing about music, the beautiful thing about K-pop. We all have different opinions. I'm fully aware of that. My list will look completely different to some of yours. And, and that's the beauty of music. And that's why I love it. That's why I love K-pop. That's why I love doing it. We all have different opinions. Um, so of course, getting those comments, let me know what you think about my list. Give me your own by all means, um, but keep it civil guys, because as I say, we all have our own opinions. This is just mine. Um, and with all that being said, guys, we are going to get straight into this thing. Let's do this. Now, first of all, to begin, I want to give some honorable mentions. Like I said earlier, these are the songs that just missed out. So I do have a top 21. This is essentially 22, 23 and 24, but I wanted to include these in here because I think they deserve it. They are fantastic songs. Um, so I'm just gonna play them for you right now.
are my honourable mentions on this list, literally in order, my 22, 23 and 24 um, on the list. It was too painful to not include them, so I decided to do this honourable mentions in order to honour them. There are also songs below that, below those rankings that, if I was being honest, do rank below those, but I still absolutely adore. <laughs> so, again, I want to stress, I love all these songs. Um, so they are my honourable mentions, and now we do move in to my number 21. Hey! You are, you are, my oh my girl bias. I absolutely adored this song. I did decide uh, you are as my oh my girl bias just before this song came out. Um, and you know what? She she justified that pick um, with the, this release because she absolutely killed it. She absolutely killed it with this release. I love this song. I don't know if it's going to be in a lot of people's top 20s or 21s or whatever. I've not seen it in a lot that I've seen so far. Um, a lot of lists, but for me personally, I just love this. I love how different it is. Uh, it's something refreshing and different in K-pop, which, which I always adore. I've got a soft spot for songs like that. And they, I love the fact that, she, that it incorporates those African elements, those Polynesian elements. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. I really do. Um, such a special song, um, so different and absolutely deserved a place on this list because you were just knocked it out of the park. And honestly, the only reason it's not higher on this list is that although I absolutely love the different sound of it and stuff, it is one of those songs that I've found that I've not gone back to as much as I thought I would. Um, compared to some of the other songs later on on the list that you'll see, this one I've not gone back to as much, even though I really thought I would. Um, and, and I may do in the future, but for now, that's where it places on the list. You As Bon Voyage came out in September of this year. Next on the list is a song that came out in November. This one... Um, just made it onto the list and when I say just I mean I literally made a change pretty much just before I recorded this video <laughs> that pushed it into the top 20. Uh, it wasn't initially there it was probably going to be in my honourable mentions um, but last few days it's absolutely slayed me this is my number 20. <laughs> Number 20 is Espar with Black Mamba. This song has grown on me massively um, over the last, and I loved it when it first came out. I loved it when it first came out. Um, I know a lot of people weren't sure about this when it first came out, but this song, especially since then, has massively grown on me. Um, and that's the reason it's, it's found its way into this list. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up even further, to be honest, over time, because it just keeps growing on me. I absolutely love it to bits. I love the way it hits that bridge. For this song is one of my favorite bridges of all time quite frankly in music not never mind k-pop i just love it I, I love the way it sounds i love the backing on it like like uh, that sort of <laughs> that's not how it sounds but you know what i mean like that 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 whole thing the vocals on it are incredible that bridge kills me absolutely kills me um and that hands down to be honest puts it on this list just for that alone but then the rest of the song is so hard hitting it's it, it hits hard it slaps i'm just I, the more I listen to it, the more I love it. Now we are moving into number 19. This is another September release. And I really wanted to avoid cheesy one-liners on this uh, countdown. But you know what? This song made me feel good. It is Promise 9 with Feel Good. I absolutely adored this song. Um, it, it came out in September. It feels like a summer song. Um, I guess it hit that period where we were just coming out of summer. It made me long 
for summer again. I absolutely, I love the feel of it. Uh, you know, like I say, when I say it makes me feel good, it really does. <laughs> it really does. Like, it does what it says on the tin, which I love about this song. The title is Feel Good, It Makes Me Feel Good. And that's sometimes that is all you need. I love the sound of it. That chorus works so nicely. And I absolutely adore this. This was the first Flawless Nine song that I checked out and it really, really stuck with me. I wasn't, this This is another song that kind of leaped on the list a little bit. I wasn't expecting it necessarily to be on this when I first started coming up with the list. It wasn't front of my mind in terms of songs that would end up on the list, but on subsequent lessons and things like that, it just, it just sticks with me and I love it. I really do. Uh, Flawless Nine is my number 19. So number 18 next and we are moving to the other side of summer, June, this one released and it is another one that I haven't seen in many of the lists uh, so I don't know if it's going to be in a lot of people's lists but I absolutely adore this one, it is my number 18. <laughs> She is right there. There she is, the lovely IU on my bias wall. Um, she always kills me. She killed me this year. She killed me this year um, into the island. <laughs> I, 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 this song is just, it's just such a special song. I just, everything about it is, is kind of a different sound for IU that I've not really heard before. Um, it was obviously for the show Island, which I've still not watched it, <laughs> but I still need to watch that show. Um, but there was just there was just something about it, the way her vocals hit in the song, the feel of it was kind of it had a, a very hopeful feel, which makes sense given that it was for that show. The the part of the song that I play in the clips, again, my favourite part of the song, I just love when she drops into that bit. It sounds so incredible. Um and this song like it, it has been kind of in and out of that top twenty, I've not been certain of it, but it it's just it's just one that I couldn't keep out because I, I just Every time I listen to it, it just reaffirms that <laughs> that justification to put it in this list. It just reaffirms and I go, yeah, it, it belongs in there. Um, I absolutely love it to bits. And Are You Into The Island is my number 18. So this is my number 17. We're moving back into October. Um, a lot of these songs are from the second half of the year. Um, for, for some reason, the second half of the year for me was incredibly strong. Um, so you'll notice that theme within my list quite a lot um this is from october it is another major grower um for me it is my number 17. Let's burn it up. first appearance on the list will it be their last who knows i do not know well i do know but <laughs> i'm trying to make it mysterious for you guys um it is my number 17 it is luna why not this massively grew grow i can't speak <laughs> this massively grew on me um over the course of hearing it it is not a song if, if you showed me this song i don't know two three years ago and said this is going to be in your top 20 of the year <laughs> for for 2020 I'd have probably laughed in your face because this is not a song that I traditionally would get into. This is a song that has built its way into my heart through getting into K-pop, through being introduced to so much, so many different facets of K-pop that I that I've be, become accustomed to songs that sound a bit like this. I <laughs> think, but the me of a few years ago would never have have loved this. Would have probably hated it. But there's something about this song that just keeps getting better for me every time I hear it it just keeps growing and growing and growing on me I love it to bits the bit I played there was in the clip was the bit towards the right at the end um so the bit where that kind of sound in the back I don't know what you call it that the kind of sound the sound in the background it, it's just that whole bit is just so kind of epic and awesome the whole song is a little it's got a little bit of an unsettling vibe which I really love even though it's really kind of fun and poppy and, and stuff it is there's I was watching their reaction and they were talking about it being a bit unsettling and I agree and um, it has a bit of an unsettling vibe I just the whole vibe of it just I really love the sound of it it's so fun 
it totally belongs on this list. It is my number 17. Luna, why not? Next on the list is my number 16. Um, it is from September of this year. It is very bittersweet. Um, my number 16. I go up, helicopter. It is CLC Helicopter, it is my number 16, it is very bittersweet because of course of everything that's happened recently with Elki leaving um, Cube and with a potential disbandment of the group and all the rest of it. Um, it is very bittersweet because I discovered this group this year through Helicopter, um, absolutely fell in love with them. As If you've been following my CLC videos on the channel you will know. <laughs> They've been absolutely slaying me. I've done a lot of their discography at this point, like the main MVs and stuff. I've absolutely fallen in love with them. And, you know, to know that they might disband soon is incredibly sad. <laughs> to be honest, it's incredibly sad. Um, but I did want to put this song in the list. It absolutely kills me. It killed me when it came out. It still does. Um, it's just, it's hard hitting. I, I, the beat to it, everything about it. Yone's rap. Fuck it. Just the whole thing just slaps hard and i like that the whole end bit with the vocals at the end i'm not sure who actually does those vocals i think it's either song yon or um Songy. i think it's one of those two but i'm not 100 percent sure um let me know in the comments if you know <laughs> about that that sort of vocal at the end where it kicks into that last chorus it's just it's just uh, fuck it, it's just a badass hard-hitting awesome song and i absolutely adore it next on the list and we are finally moving before june of this year um, and I am going all the way back to March which is the month that my channel started and if you were around at that point if you are aware of my the beginnings of my channel you might know that this was the first song that I ever reacted to on the channel uh, and it is my number 15. I wanna be me, me, me. Itsy's Wannabe is my number 15. It is a testament to the songs this year and how good they have been that Itsy's Wannabe slayed me the way that it did and yet it is still only my number 15 of the year. <laughs> that is a massive testament to everything above it because um, I absolutely love this song. The chorus is it's one of the best choruses of the year, quite easily. Um, I absolutely love it. It's the main reason, to be honest, I love this song so much. Like. There were times when I was coming up with this list where I'd be listening to kind of the verses and things. I wasn't sure and I was a bit kind of, I don't know if this is, if this beats a lot of the songs below it. Um, but then that chorus hits. That chorus hits and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> no, it has, to, it has to be up here because that chorus just slays. And I'm not saying the rest of the song doesn't, of course it does, but that chorus just, it, it just, it, every, it gets me every time. It gets me every single time I listen to it. Um, these girls are incredible. I can't wait to see that what <laughs> they do next. Uh, and it's his wannabe is my number 15. Next on the list is my number 14 and we are staying early in the year for this one. We are moving even further back into February. This is the earliest song on the list in terms of release. Um, this came out before I started my channel. Um, I did eventually react to it. And <laughs> through this, I discovered a group who have become one of my favorite K-pop groups um, at this point. I love them to bits. It is my number 14. My number 14 is the incredible Everglow with Dun Dun. I, <laughs> I adore this song. I loved it when it first came out. Um, when I reacted to it and everything, it, 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 it was just absolutely incredible. Again, it's such a hard hitting song. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that don't necessarily like the song or that, that were underwhelmed by this song. 
but I also know of a lot of people that absolutely adore it and I am in that camp. I did, I think it's it's amazing. I love the sound of it. It was of course the first song that I'd ever heard of Everglow um, and it got me interested into discovering them and through that <laughs> they just absolutely blew me away. The group have blown me away. As I say, they're one of my favourite cable groups at this point and I thought this song was amazing. I really do. The way it builds up to that chorus. Iran's little like, you're so done, 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 that whole bit. The chorus hits like a fucking truck. I, I, everything about it, I just I just think is fantastic. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It is my number 14. Next on the list, and I know for a fact, this is a song that not a lot of people will have on the list because I know it's a song that, <laughs> that a lot of people might not even know um, at this point. I don't know how kind of well known it is, but it is a song that I actually reacted to very early on in the channel's life. It may have been the second one I reacted to, or the third one. It was one of the first few. Um, it did come out in March, and, and <laughs> this song has just stuck with me. It has just stuck with me. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think it deserves way more recognition than it's currently got, um, and it is up at my number 13. Baby, I know, I know, you It is Yezzy with Home, as I say, I did react to this early on in my channel, um, very early on, <laughs> um, and it, it's just stuck with me, it's just stuck with me. Every time I listen to it, it's just a song that, it just resonates with me, it really does. That The chorus is just, it's just beautiful. Everything about this this song, just the way it sounds, the melody, Yezzy's vocals, especially on that last chorus, um, which at this point I'm not sure if it's the clip I'll play, but it probably will be, so <laughs> you'll know because you just heard it. Um, but the way she hits that last chorus with that vocal, it's just, this song is stunning. And for anyone that doesn't know it, for anyone that, that isn't aware of it, that may have liked what you just heard when I played the clip, please check it out because this song deserves way more recognition than it's got. I absolutely adore it. Um, it was always gonna be on this list guaranteed um it was at one point in my top 10 i have dropped it down a little bit but i still absolutely adore this song um, and it totally deserves that spot at number 13. so i have two more for this part one of the countdown uh, and we are in number 12 next and <laughs> we've gone from pretty early on in the year to way late on in the year um this is a december release it is the only december release on my list um, and it is by a group that may well take the crown for being my favorite k-pop group this year in terms of what they've released this group have killed it this year <laughs> in every sense of the word uh, they are incredible they continue to be incredible uh, and they are at my number 12. <laughs> Twice's Cry For Me at number 12. As I say, very recent release. It wasn't released with an MV, but I still class it as, it is a single release, so it still class, counts towards this list. Um, and it just, from the moment I first heard it, from the moment I first heard it, this song was incredible. This song is incredible. It's just, it's so different. It's such a different direction for Twice, which I love. I love that it sounds, it's got that kind of darker element to it that whole like bad girl mad girl bit <laughs> which again i might well play um in the clip i play you'll know because you've just heard it that whole bit just kills me i really love that bit of the song that's might be my favorite bit of the song and ju just everything about this song is just it's so different it's so different and again i'm a sucker for anything different and this this is so different especially for twice i love the sound of it i love the way it hits i love that kind of sort of darker vibe it's just it's just perfect as soon as when I was coming up with this list, um, as soon as I considered that song, I knew it was going to be fairly high. I knew it was going to be up there. Um, again, I think this may have been in my top 10 at one point, but I ended up dropping it down a little bit. But it was always going to be pretty high up because this song from the get-go just slayed me. It is my number 12, twice, cry for me. So this is the final song of part one of my countdown. As I say, uh, part two will be out the following day, so please check that out. 
at that point. If this, if you're watching this after <laughs> they're both out, then part two will already be out. So please check it out after this one um, and see the completion of my list. But this is my number 11. Uh, it is a song that just missed out on my list. It came out in April. Here it is. <laughs> This song, this song, this song, this song. I, I slept on this song. I slept on this song, and that is what that's that's what I'm gonna say about this song. I, I reacted to it back when it came out. I did a reaction. I enjoyed it. Of course, I did. <laughs> I, I thought it was great. I never went back to it for whatever reason. I didn't go back to this song, um, and obviously, to, you know, when I was coming up with this list and I was figuring it out. Naturally, I wanted to listen to all these songs that I checked out over the year. I thought I've got to go back to these songs and check them out so I can figure out this list. Fuck me. When I listen to this song again, <laughs> I just like I had that moment of just going, where the fuck have I been? Because this song is so good. It is so good. And I slept on it. I completely and utterly slept on it. Rediscovering it just, it absolutely blew my mind. And I can't believe it took me that long to realise what an absolute banger this song is. It's just, it is an incredible song. Like I say, it just missed out on my top 10. It could have been higher. I know it has, based on lists I've seen so far, it has been higher for a lot of people and I'm not surprised. Um, in the end, like I say, just misses out on my top 10. But I tell you what, this song, man, I, I'm annoyed at myself <laughs> for sleeping on it for so long. Um, it has reignited my flame for A-Pink. I really want to get on A-Pink a lot. Um, in the coming months because I've not checked them out past Dum Durum and I need to because this song is absolutely incredible. Um, it is my number 11 and it is a pink Dum Durum. So that ends part one of my top 20 countdown. As I say, please check out my part two um, either the following day or if it's already out, please check it out after this um, to see my top 10 um, of the year. That would be awesome and that's really all there is to say at this point. Thank you so much for watching guys. Senengay, I love you all.